dear students welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am solving a problem on computation of the total income of an uh, individual sc when he is ordinarily resident not ordinary resident and non resident kindly watch the video till the end like it share among your friends and subscribe the channel if you already subscribe the channel kindly ignore it now let's move to the white board dear students this is a case study which has appeared with respect to computation of computation of total income of an ssc who when he is ordinary resident when he is not on resident and when he is non resident so this is a case study question which is appeared for the year 2015 the problem runs like this mr murugan a cricket year a cricket year of sri lanka provides you the following provides you the following information information for the previous year information for the previous year 2019-20 the information is like this agricultural income agricultural income from sri lanka rupees 60000 rupees 60000 of which half half e half amount is received in india income from business income from business in sri lanka rupees 80000 this amount sorry this business is controlled this business is controlled from bangalore from bangalore from bangalore next dividend from dividend from sorry dividend declared in sri lanka in sri lanka sri lanka but received in india rupees 5000 declared next number 4 remuneration for cricket coaching cricket coaching in india in india rupees 1 lakh next income from units of uti rupees 15000 rent from property in sri lanka received there rupees 60000 of which rupees 40000 remitted to india then remitted to india here so the questions are like this here now questions so a determine the taxable income determine the taxable income of mr murugan murugan a sri lanka cricketer a sri lankan cricketer 
क्रिकेट प्लेयर इफ ही हैज बीन कमिंग टू बैंगलोर बैंगलोर फॉर हंड्रेड डेज फॉर हंड्रेड डेज एवरी ईयर सिंस टू थाउजेंड सिंस टू थाउजेंड टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बी हियर विल यूर आंसर विल यूर आंसर बी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट इफ ही हैज बीन कमिंग टू इंडिया फॉर हंड्रेड एंड टेन डेज टेन डेज हंड्रेड एंड टेन डेज एवरी ईयर question c here what will be the total income if mr murugan comes to india comes to india only for 50 days 50 days every year question d here do you think that the incidence of tax depends on the residential status status if yes if yes prove it by taking by taking the above information and if not give reasons so now from these details now we are required to solve this question here so first let's understand of course uh, it is a combination of determination of the residential status as well as computation of the total income of an individual when he is ordinary resident not ordinary resident and a non resident so in this point first let us determine the residential status so determine the taxable income of mr murugan sri lankan cricketer if he if he has been coming to india 100 days for every year so now let us answer to the question a here so as he is coming to india 100 days every year so during the previous year also he comes to india for 100 days to during the year 2019 20 so 1920 so he is not satisfying the first basic condition that an assessee should stay in india for a period of uh, 182 days now let us apply the second basic condition that uh, an assessee should stay in india for a period of 365 days or more during four previous years so preceding the relevant previous year and should stay in india for a period of 60 days so as he stays in india for 100 days so he is satisfying the second additional condition so now let us write down here as mr murugan comes to india comes to india for 100 days he will be staying he will be staying in india for 100 days during the previous year 2019 1920 and for 400 days that is here in the bracket only you can write 100 days multiplied by 4 so 400 days during the four previous years during the four previous years preceding the relevant preceding the relevant previous year so he satisfies he satisfy the second basic condition that that an assessee should stay in india 
for a period of for a period of for a period of 365 days or more during the four previous years during four previous years preceding the relevant previous year relevant previous year and should stay in india should stay in india for 60 days or more 60 days or more during the previous year now let us apply the additional condition so as he comes to uh, he will be resident of india for two previous years for two previous years out of 10 previous years out of 10 previous years preceding the relevant relevant previous year he satisfies the the first additional condition that that an assessee an assessee should be resident should be resident of india an assessee should be resident of india for two previous years for two previous years out of 10 previous years preceding the relevant previous year preceding the relevant previous year but he fails to satisfy he fails to satisfy the second additional condition additional condition as he stays as he stays for 700 days in the bracket 100 days into 7 years due uh, 700 days during 7 previous years 7 previous years preceding the relevant previous year preceding the relevant previous year so he is not let me write down here as he satisfies one of the basic conditions and one of the additional conditions additional conditions he is not ordinarily resident he is not ordinarily resident so this is answer to question number a now let's take b here so as he comes to India for 110 days 110 days here so the same thing will come here his total number of days of stay during the previous year 2019-20 will be will be 110 days and the same will be 440 uh, days 440 days that in the bracket 110 days into 4 during the 4 previous years 
during the four previous years preceding the previous year 2019-20 hence he complies hence he complies with the second basic condition similarly 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 he is resident for two previous years for two previous years out of 10 previous years out of 10 previous years preceding the relevant previous year and he stays in India for 770 days 770 days in the bracket 110 days multiplied by 7 years 7 years 7 years preceding the relevant previous year preceding the relevant previous year he satisfies both the additional conditions so he is so he is ordinarily resident of India now question number C if he comes to India for 50 days so 50 days every year so now 50 days so as he comes as he comes to India for 50 days every year every year he does not satisfy any of the basic basic conditions he hence he is non resident of India so now let's compute computation of total income so name of SC is Mr. Morgan previous year 2019-20 assessment year 2020-21 so now let me insert a table here So here particulars ordinarily resident not ordinarily resident non resident. So now let's go by one by one here. So the first one here it is in agriculture income from Sri Lanka half of which is received in India so to the extent of half it becomes Indian income so income from agriculture from Sri Lanka Sri Lanka of which half is received received in India so the amount here it is given as rupees 60,000 so it will be now 60 
so here it is 60,000 here it is 30,000 here also it is 30,000 so now the second one here it is given as uh, income from business in Sri Lanka rupees it is chosen that this business is controlled from India so here income from business in Sri Lanka but controlled from India so it is amount it is given as rupees 80 thousand here so it is chargeable tax only in the first two cases because it is foreign income but the source of income is income from business so this income from this business is controlled from india here then the next one third one comes here uh, dividend declared in sri lanka but received in india so dividend declared in sri lanka but but received in india so that has come to here it is amount it is 5000 so 5000 here also it is 5000 here it is 5000 now the next one number fourth one here it is remuneration for cricket coaching in india so here remuneration for cricket coaching coaching in in india so this amount it is given as rupees here it is one lakh so it is Indian income, so chargeable tax in the hands of in all the three cases. So one lakh. Next one here income from units of income from units of UTI. So income from units of UTI is exempt from tax under section 10 subsection 33 next rent from house uh, rent from property in Sri Lanka received there rupees 6 so remittance should be ignored this 40,000 should be ignored here because always we should consider the first receipt of the income so rent from property in sri lanka so which is rupees 60000 the next two case it is nil here also it is nil sorry nil so now let's take the total here. So 60 plus 140, 240, 243 lakh, 5000 in the first case. 3 lakh, 3 lakh, 5000. The second case it is 80 plus 31, 10, 150, 110, 115, 115 plus 2 lakh, 15,000 here. 2 lakh, in the third case it is one lakh thirty five thousand now let's answer to the last d question here yes the tax depends depends upon the residential status of the SSC the residential status of the SSC In this case, when Mr. Morgan Morgan was resident of resident of India or ordinary resident, 
his total income is rupees three lakh five thousand when he is not ordinarily resident his total income is rupees two lakh fifteen thousand and when he is non resident his total income is rupees one lakh thirty five thousand so here the income varies according to the residential status of the assessor here thank you